in this problem, we're looking at the relationships between a set of points, lines, and a plane uh, in this diagram here. And in case we're having a little trouble figuring it out, uh, they, they're telling us that the points B, D, E, F, and G all lie in that plane. Uh, but A and C don't. They look like they're hovering uh, above and below the plane. And what we're supposed to do is take a look at this set of statements and decide which ones are true and which ones are false. Some of these will be obvious just from looking at the diagram, but others maybe not so obvious. So I've listed out some rules to remember as we go along here, and we'll, we'll talk about these as they come up. The first one here says another name for plane X is plane BCF. And as this rule says up here, there are two ways to name a plane. You can just give it a letter they, like they did here. They called it plane X. Usually you stick that letter in the corner. Or you can choose three points from the plane. They have to all lie in the plane, but not all be on the same line. So coplanar, but not collinear points. In this case, we have B and C and F, but C doesn't lie in the plane. So this is not a good name for this plane. The next one says points A, B, and C are collinear. And here are A, B, and C, and you can see a line running through all three. So they're definitely collinear. They're on the same line. If you had um, been given the statement um, points D and F are collinear, even though you don't see a line there, you should say that's true as well, because any two lines, any two points, I mean, are always collinear. You can always draw a line between them. Uh, so even if the line's not there, uh, you should say that that that's true. Um, although if it if they chose three points without a line between them, um, that one probably would be false, unless you can see that there's a line you can draw through all three of those points. All right, let's look at this next one. It says lines A, E, and D, E intersect. Now, these lines are not drawn in on this diagram. However, you know that they would intersect because they share a point. They're going to intersect at point E. Point E is on both those lines. If you drew in A, E, it would go that way. If you drew in uh, D, E, it would go that way. And they'd intersect right here at E. So that one is true. The next one says points A, D, E, and F are coplanar. So here's A, D, E, F. Well, D, E, and F are definitely all in plane X. A is not. So I'm going to say this one is false. There's one thing you should remember about questions like this. Um, if it had said, let's say, A, D, and E are coplanar, you'd actually say yes to that because the rule is any three points are always coplanar. It may not be the plane that they've shown here, plane X. There's some other plane that goes through them. But that's not true for any four points. So since there are four points here, we're going to say this is false. All right, next one, it says point D and the line AB are coplanar. So uh, just as three points are always coplanar, a line and a point are always coplanar. So this one is going to be true. One point, one line, there is a plane. It's not plane X, but it's some other plane. And the last one says none of these are true. Well, three of them are, so we'll leave that blank as well. And that's a little bit of work uh, with some points and lines and planes.